Last session, our adventurers began a new day having said goodbye to the bridge workers that they had camped with the night before. After considering which strategical approach to take after crossing the river, i.e. staying close to the forest, heading straight down the road, etc., you decided to wait until you got your bearings on the other side of the bridge. You travelled for an hour or two before arriving at the miles-long bridge made of wood and stone, crossing over our broad but slowly flowing river. Once noon had passed, you found yourselves on the other side, and, finally, in hill giant territory. As you journeyed forward, you found the area to be pretty sparse, save for the number of boulders that littered the terrain and squished into the ground from where they fell from a great height. Your first day's travel in hill giant territory was uneventful, and you pulled the cart behind a boulder to camp for the evening. As you were setting up, Kato heard some snoring in the distance. Rook sent out his familiar in that direction to get a bird's eye view, to see a large hill giant sleeping on top of a mat, nestled behind a row of trees some hundred feet down the road. After a bit of back and forth, and the sighting of some ruins, you decided to sneak your way forward and batter the hill giant while it was prone. With some spike growth thorns in his side and feet being blasted with guiding bolt and a dart to the eye, this giant was woken up very rudely indeed, and it hit and missed Kato and Vane respectively, with the bonk action. Another few guiding bolts, some icy spice slices, and a psychic infused stab later, and the hill giant was looking very rough and attempted to run away. Unfortunately for this hill giant, the ground was still covered in spikes, and it bled out before it could even leave its bed. After Rook profiled the recent ruins of a human settlement nearby, you started your harvesting of the giant's organs and parts to 1. show proof of the kill, and 2. hopefully sell them to the alchemical department back in Clan Comry. Being your first time working on a creature like this, there was some success and some failures, but ultimately you learned a lot for your future kills. You slid what parts you obtained into the bag of colding, and then quickly retreated back to your camping spot for the night, hoping the smell of gore and sinew that covered you did not attract any creatures. Thankfully, the rain picked up during the night, and Kato got to wash most of the gunk off, and it also seemed to dissuade the natural predators from leaving their homes. Rook came to the next morning from his boulder, as Vane had fallen asleep on watch. Again. Given the ordeal Vane has been through, however, you decided to cut him so slack, though Rook did bonk him on the head with his staff. Roshana headed to the corpse of the hill giant and casted funeral rites to prevent its undeathly return. To prevent its undeathly return, as Rook noticed a standing stone with druidic writing nearby, which alluded to a peace between the peoples of Gorgorigina and the Storm Lords. With the cart and horses disguised with seeming, you started on your journey once more. The party, excluding Roshana, opted to try out some of the pastries that Kilmuli had made for you, and something bizarre took hold. Kato and Rook disappeared under the illusion of invisibility, whilst Vane gained the ability of flight for a time. You realised that these pastries imparted to you some Vane magical nonsense. Come afternoon, Roshana heard some thunderous footsteps in the distance, and you turn just in time to spot a hill giant running away from the forest and away from your direction. Confused, you watched on as a giant elk and a group of bunnies also ran from the same point with speed. It was then that you heard a shrill call in the distance as a giant, bloated, featherless and sickly skinned cockatrice came charging out of the forest, its tension turning towards you. As the bloated cockatrice approached you, you could tell immediately that it was undead. A putrid smell of rotting flesh billowed with it as it began to attack your horses. Kato and Rook quickly began to slice and guiding bolt the cockatrice, only for it to explode into a plume of greenish energy, which made the two horses, Kato and Rook, freeze up in place, their forms turning into stone. Given that you had a few more hours travel left, Vane and Roshana decided to try a few spells to see if that could restore your solidified friend. Eventually, Roshana found out the spell magic worked, as she casted it on Rook. While this magical effect did not seem to be permanent, Kato and the horses still had not returned to normal, so you carefully lifted Kato's statue form to a safe spot behind a tree, and awaited nightfall. You had a long but quiet watch. Roshana journaled a bit before waking up Rook. 
Funnily enough, Rook fell asleep, and Vane bonked him awake, to which Rook remarked he was merely preparing his spells for the day. Between Roshana and Rook, and an absolute ton of rock puns, you depetrified Kato and the two horses. Despite Kato having an extra long day of wakefulness, you did complete another day's travel. As you were planning to camp, however, you spotted a giant boar squealing across the road. You realised that you were in the middle of a chase as a hill giant came barreling out of the forest, hunting after its next meal. Unfortunately, you all looked a bit more tempting, and another battle ensued. Through a combination of slow, guiding bolt, spike growth, dagger stabs, scimitar slashes, all while receiving a few bonks in the process, you brought another hill giant to its end, and harvested the spoils of your kill. And that is where we will pick up. Oh, um, I assume we were just uh, arm deep in giant blood. Well, yeah, you've finished up now and uh, gathered uh, all the I bits like, into the bag of holding. I would like to uh, wash myself. Uh, what's the weather like? Is it raining still? No, uh, it was raining yesterday. It's dark. Not too much. Hold on. I think it was a very fine rain. Nothing impeding mm. your uh, vision. Ah. Um, was it uh, always? I just like uh, water-wise. Um, can I rinse myself off a little bit? <laughs> if you want to get the the blood and giblets off of myself. Yeah. Uh, you do find though, having been on the road for. Just, just a few days now that, uh, well, a few days since Milan, um, mm. that, uh, yeah, there is a, a little bit of grime getting stuck here or there, uh, tries you might to wash it off. It always seems to stick back onto you. Yeah. Bane's not massively happy about that, but, you know, it happens. At least I'm not a hill giant. Yet. Um, hmm. not sure how I should feel about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I'll put my shirt back on because I took it off mm. for the fan fiction or the fan art or whatever. And then, um, what, t I can't, oh, sorry, I, I'm trying to, what time of day are we at? It's like you were literally just looking for a place to stop when this hill giant uh, I, yeah. ran out in front of you chasing the giant boar. Um, do we want to, um, <clears throat> sorry, my apologies. Would we, uh, do we want to pull up off of the main road and, and camp here, or should we move away from the corpse? Probably move closer mm -hmm. towards the tree line. Yeah, I don't think it's smart to stay near the corpse. The benefit being that, uh, Anyone that comes up this road will probably notice the corpse before us. Mm -hmm. So we'll at least true. have the advantage. Very true. Uh, so, uh, left or right? Uh, which way is closest in terms of tree line? Tree line here. Okay. Um, yeah, left is probably fine because we know there's less in it because they were chased out by the cockatrice. Mm-hmm. Very true. Well, I guess I'll head over there. Yeah. Once uh, everything's done here, and I'll give the horses a little pat on the head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the startled just <laughs> Stefan Tritt. Tiff? Stefan Tiff. Tiff. Yeah. 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 You named him. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I'll uh, vein all. Of hang around until Kato and Roshan are uh, uh, all packed up and stuff, and then hop in the garage. Yeah. Uh, Kato will walk with you, Rook, just directing the horses towards the encampment that you're going to make for yourselves. Sounds good. Oh dear. <laughs> Is God. that. 
God, I made the horses so fat. <laughs> they are very chunky. This is a token that we could move, right? Oh, it is! Oh, that's... We need that on, like, a small version of that on the main men uh, the main menu. Yes, yeah, so Because we're playing video games. <laughs> no, it's not fucking... Okay. I know. It was me being dumb. Um, okay, yeah, so, uh, I guess, um, we'll pull up, um, in the safest spot as we can find. Yeah, I'm just gonna place um, you there for now, but you are actually, like, further into the tree. But, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I think Vane will, um, sort of set up, ah, oh, yes, the red tree of, <laughs> the red cloud of death. Um, oh, no. Roll the constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> seven cockatrice come out and you're all petrified for seven days. Um, yeah, and then Vayne will just set up one of the tents. I don't know if we're going to do the like, one tent up. Everyone will like, kind of make ourselves as um, quick escape as possible. Same as last couple of nights. I mean, would be I smart, think, yeah. 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 That's the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. At least it's one. If it's one tent, we just like grab and go. Yeah. Just I, toss I it into the back, fully mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And people inside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just burrito them up and go. Yeah, mostly it's probably going to be Kato. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep in the cart. <laughs> um. Why isn't yeah, Kato yeah. helping? He's stuck in the tent that we threw in the back. <laughs> He's got seven swords. Surely he could get himself out. <laughs> Actually, it's surprisingly difficult when they're all strapped to your body. And you're <laughs> it's true. Yeah. He's yep. got no arm movement. <laughs> Kato's arms are weirdly. just crossed over himself, trying to grab a hold of the hill of his scimitar. Don't break my tent. <laughs> um. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, uh, Vayner will set up the tent and then kind of chill for the evening. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right here. The sky I begins to skip. I will grant everyone the gift of a good berry. Yep. Thank you so much. Good. Yeah, that Horse's lips find your hands and num num num. Good, good, good. That sounds like Scooby Doo. <laughs> Rat roll, Raggy. Oh, no. oh my god. I'm sorry. It's one of those days. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the uh, sky darkens above you, and thankfully, it seems to be a clearish night. There is a couple of lingering clouds, but the. Uh, Pattering rain that you'd feel in your shoulder occasionally seems to have disappeared for the time being. Uh, are you setting up a fire? Are you keeping watches? What is the plan? Probably no to the fire. Because yeah, that's, yeah. Like, that's that's a, a big we're over here. Mm -hmm. um, just that's you know, see in the dark. Yeah, we got all the uh, blankets. Wrap ourselves up. Probably take watch the same way as usual. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, chuck the uh, horse the horse blankets over the so that they are kept uh, like a little bit drier and uh, a little bit warmer. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, I think that's pretty much like just try and keep down as quickly as possible so that we can get moving in the uh, in the morning. Oh, right here. So, who would like to take first watch? I will. Okay. Shanna, give me your perception check, please, as you nestle down. That's a 13. 13. No, right here. You settle down, bring the uh, blanket or bedroll that you have with you around your shoulders, and keep an eye on the sky. Mm -hmm. And you can see the stars and the moon above. Uh, and then seems to be waning at this point. Uh, 
think it's another week or two and it'll be the new moon. Oh, mm, I'm not by mistake. I just remembered something Kato had said. Yeah. <laughs> As, uh, about an hour or two passes before you see approaching the corpse of the hill giant. These very, very small creatures. And you, you have to kind of take a good look at them and they're the non-bloated version of the undead cockatrices that you've encountered. Mm -hmm. The live cockatrices apparently just here pecking away. At the oh my corpse. god! Some of them are like pecking and tearing and just seeing what it is, and others are just kind of like just standing nearby, looking around mm -hmm. quite skittishly. I'll leave them be. Okay. I'll let them have their feast. You see a couple hop down from atop of the hill giant's uh, was it back or belly? I can't remember if he fell forward or backward. Regardless, um, they soon scurry off. Uh, they seem to be quite nervous little creatures, not sticking around too long, Just, but the curiosity got the better, better of them. Mm -hmm. But aside from that, quiet night. Okay. Who would you like to wake up for next? I'll wake Vane up. Alrighty. I'll gently shake him. <clears throat> oh, okay, my turn. Yeah, your turn. Anything of interest? Just actual living cockatrices that were eating the corpse. Oh, That's it. The big one. They were eating the hill giant, but they also ran off, so huh. I suppose it's fine. Okay. Well, get you some have... rest. Yeah, you have a good watch. Mm, I'll cry. <laughs> Vote of confidence there. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, Vane. Uh, give me a perception check, please. Oh my god, I'm awake. You are 17. awake! Something about the night air fills you with a little bit of energy. And uh, you wipe the little bit of sleep that you have in your eyes and keep a keen eye out. Mm. All good. All good. I am. Um, if nothing is happening, um, I'll kind of um, where I've had that lump on my head from where Rook smacked me, and then I blew into a crate or a barrel. I'll kind of be rubbing that again and sort of seeing if my bump's gone down. Okay. Um, and then I will uh, wake up, Kato. Hello. <clears throat> yep. Your turn. I'm up. I'm up. Um, Rashana spotted some cockatrices, cockatry, cock, cock, cockatrices, is um, eating the hill giant, but they've all gone. Um, I haven't seen them since, so it's oh. been all clear. Hopefully, they will come back. Mm. Fingers crossed. I don't think they saw us. I think they were just testing the meal. Well. Okay, well. Have you a good take sleep. Take it easy. Kato hops on his goggles. That is not with an advantage. I don't know. Sorry, it's meant to be normal. He'd be so upset. <laughs> Wasted one of his good runs. Yeah, 15's good though. Uh, partway through Kato's watch. Beam, horses stir a little bit 
as uh, coming from the tree line, actually. Kato locks eyes with a giant boar that has kind of just <laughs> wandered in this direction. Keeps a steady gaze with it. Before it trots off in another direction, looking for its next meal. Mm. Kato wanders over to Rook. <clears throat> it's uh, your turn. <clears throat> Anything to report? Uh, giant boar. That's okay, I suppose. Didn't seem interested in us. It kind of just walked by, looked at us for a couple of seconds, and then went. Yeah, that sounds about right. You'll get your last couple of hours sleep. I got it from here. Alrighty. Kato beds down. Okay. And Rook. Alrighty. The sun slowly begins to crest once more. A brand new day ahead of you. Is there anything you want to do before the others wake up, Rick? Um, I I think I just I take a look out to make sure that the way ahead of us is is clear. As as it starts to get to that moment where uh, we need to wake up, I'll start uh, getting the horses set before I wake anyone up, so okay. that uh, we can head out. Give them those last couple of minutes of sleep. Yeah. As uh, you're setting everything up, you do see that the clouds ahead are beginning to gather once more. And as it's about time to start, you know, <laughs> shaking people's shoulders and nudging the horses awake, you feel heavy drops of rain falling on your forehead and your scalp. <sighs> Well, at least it'll be harder to be noticed. And I'll, uh, shake everyone up. Gently. Oh. <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Wake up, it's raining! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd like to know. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, Alright, I'll get up and, uh... Mm -hmm big stretch and start to pack up the tent. Yeah. If Rashada's in it, I'll probably wait. But <laughs> I'm up. <laughs> uh can I maybe judge just from the uh the weather rolling in how like big like is this gonna roll up into a bigger storm? Uh is it uh, is it gonna pass in a couple of hours? Do I have any idea how uh Oof. How bad it's gonna get. Mm. As a man who's been in the rain before. <laughs> in the rain before. I've seen water. I've stood beneath the <laughs> shower faucet. I know how this works. I've seen this before. <laughs> um. Not but... since three days ago did I see rain like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it could pass within a few hours, but uh, right now it is. It's quick and it's heavy. Mm -hmm. And uh, you do see as you're, you know, getting ready to bring the horses out that it is obscuring your visibility a little bit. But it should also be obscuring the visibility of uh, any potential threats as well towards you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will, uh, uh, when we set off. Oh, so after we've packed up the tent, I will um, seeming us back to our merchant, traveller, normal looking, unimposing crew-ness words. 
Well, we got there. <laughs> well, I see. Yeah. I'm gonna hop in the back of the carriage. Alrighty. And I suppose the oh. question is... Mm. And before we set out, can I just give a quick look over the... Um, I know that the, the ground here is a little bit easier for us um, compared to where it has been, but I just give the um, the wheels on the bus um, a quick check. Okay. Uh, you can give me carpentry with wisdom as the attribute, please. Wisdom. Hey, nice. it's a 17 day. Uh, you get a good scan over each of the wheels and yep the earth around you is starting to become a little bit more mucky um so you do think there might be a little bit of trouble ahead in uh steering but everything seems to be solid okay should keep you going for the next few hours at least and hopefully the rain will, will have cleared by then um if there's a like a uh, I don't know what's like a maybe like a meter long log, uh, or like branch or something, kind of semi thick, um, in our, in our vicinity because we're nearer the forest now. Um, I'll pick it up and pop it on the back of the, uh, the carriage. Okay. If possible. Um, you're not fully in the forest, but there has been enough giant footfall that trees that have, uh. Or flanking the road have been trodden on. Mm. You can definitely find a branch or a log that big. Yeah, like relatively thick, so it wouldn't crack under like some weight, but not like ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking for a tree trunk. Yeah. You do that, no issue. Alrighty. So, who is driving? Uh, Rick was closest to the front, but if he doesn't yeah. want to, I can. Yeah, I can. I know I can drive. All right. And who is keeping watch? I will keep watch. Okay. Uh, so Rick, survival or land vehicle proficiency, please, if you have it. And Rashana, if I can get a perception check at disadvantage, please. Well, that's a that's a net one, so that's that's there. Okay. Good to know. Ooh. Wish I had the other number. It is a good number. Mm-hmm, it is. Do you need the d20 or the supply for Uh, you, yes, you please, actually, months. I do. Yeah, I was just like, I'm, I'm sure we normally do three, but I can't <laughs> remember which one it is. Is it a survival or is it a d20? Just a d20, please. Just a d20. Uh, one. Hey. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to be super chuffed or absolutely terrified. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. B. One of the few times where a nat 20 is like, is it, is it, is it good? <laughs> that, uh, that. Yeah. You guys uh, begin traveling along. The rain is quite heavy on top of the uh, cover, and uh, whoever's sitting at the back, they do get the odd like sploosh of water from where the water gathers on top of the roof and then just falls on top of you. Mm. That would uh, be me. As you are driving on Rook, you do see that it is quite difficult uh, navigating, just because the road seems to blur with its surroundings where... Uh, the grass has been denuded in points, and the muck gathers. You push the horses forward, their breath uh, steaming in front of them. It's a trudge, most definitely. But you do make it. There doesn't seem to be anything wanting to be out in this rain either so maybe that's a blessing and mm. um... oh no don't worry 
t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, 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 I was. Yeah. So, slightly impeded, uh, you get about to the halfway point. Sometime early afternoon. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask. We've long rested since our fire, right? Of course we have, because we just did. I just wanted to make sure before mm -hmm. I pressed the long rest button. <laughs> yeah. I just didn't want to like press the button and then suddenly um, I've messed everything up. But sorry, yeah, I don't know why I I got like really confused at myself then. Carry on. <laughs> Alrighty. So you continue on. Uh. Yeah, you guys can give me another roll if you'd like. Same again. Um, you do see that the rain, as expected, Rook, begins to lighten a little bit as you continue on. It doesn't really help with the already wetted uh, grounds, but at least visibility is a little bit easier. So, Roshana, you can make your perception with yeah, straight roll. 21, very nice. Yee. Don't it's been black dragons. <laughs> no. <clears throat> the uh, clouds begin to part above you. Um, and you do see streaks of sunlight coming down from above. Rain isn't gone entirely. It's more of a sun shower now. But, uh... Is there a rainbow? Give me a perception check. Versus just like, hang on. That's a persuasion. <laughs> 13. As you look off to your right, you do in fact see a rainbow <gasps> to the south. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it brings a slight bit of joy to what is arguably quite a dreary trek. Certainly. <laughs> I'm trying to move your token again, I can't. Oh no, I've made it squat. You want me to? Yeah, get it. There we go. I, eh. I click. Eh. Stop it! Oh no. There we go. <laughs> um. Easy enough, another, another day's journey comes to a close. Um, no. As, again, you're looking up for a place to camp. Shana, you do notice that there are quite a few more areas of denuded dirt. Mm -hmm. And amongst them, you do see fresh footprints. Big footprints? Mm -hmm. Almost certainly. There's big footprints, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hill giant big or cockatrice big or. Well, they are bigger than mine, so. And you're a big lady. <laughs> exactly. Um, does Kato, do you want to take a look? You're more of a trackery type. Uh, I... Sure. And Kato hops down and uh, walks over to where Rashana points. He kneels down to take a look at the tracks. I cast guidance on Kato. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, where's the Oh, oh my god. Plus <laughs> four? D four. Don't tell him this happened. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting worse. It's fine, it's what he usually rolls. Hmm. It's accurate. They seem to be going in that direction, and he points down... To get the ruler! This way! Okay. So well, I guess all we can do, really, is keep an eye out for anything coming from the uh -huh. direction. That's kind of annoying, though. It is. 
Um, you need to keep in mind that there was one smart one because it was watching mm. the other bridge people. Uh, Kato, do you know if they're hill giant tracks or are they something else? Well, they're definitely hill giant tracks. We'll just... Any idea how old they are? It's not the hill giant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you mean the tracks. Um, yeah. <laughs> keeping the rainfall, I'd say, recent. Uh, do we know if the um, the next river we're going to cross, do we know if the bridge for that is intact? It should be. There is no... mention of it being out. Mm -hmm. Rook, do you um the map that you've got, does it does the rivers look the similar size? Because that last river was a lot more substantial than I thought it would be. They look approximate. Mm. Well hopefully the bridge is there then because it's not like we can just you know trudge across. It's more of a Well I mean we can I mean, the other bridge was fairly long, wasn't it? Yeah, very much so. Mm. But it would be a problem for the cart, mm -hmm. definitely. Oh, yes, yes, that's what I meant, sorry. Well, um, should we pull off to the left again and uh, sort of give ourselves as much distance between us and these tracks as possible and, and then... Uh, Keep an eye, especially on this direction for the evening. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. The alternative is that we uh, continue doing what we have been doing and we try to take this opportunity to track down the giant and kill it. We don't know if they're alone. I look at the tr I look down at the tracks to see if there's more than one set. Uh, give me a survival check, please. Hmm. There looks to be about a dozen. A dozen? Uh, yeah, no, that's actually a good point for Shanna. Mm -hmm. um, they'll just <laughs> kind of looks like there's a like another set over there, and uh, oh, mm. oh, hmm. Uh, yeah, Is there's like actually a roving war band. Well, either that or they commonly, quite commonly, walk by here. In which case, we should probably move. Yeah. And begin pull pulling off to the left. Okay. Um, I think, uh, can, I, can I keep an eye out um, at the front? Because obviously it's still raining a little bit. Um, just keep an eye out at the front to make sure... Because we're going off road a little bit to make sure there's no like potholes or like puddles that we might get stuck in, and if I can like direct rook around them. Uh, sure, just give me a perception check, please. I am very water good man. <laughs> yeah. Knowledge. Uh, you keep an eye out, but you see the horses are. The horses themselves are very much done with the day. <laughs> they're not too happy in the rain, and they're. Pulling at the cart, um, just <laughs> without caution at all. Uh, they very much just want to go where they want to go. That's Sorry, go enough. where they need to go and uh, just stop. <laughs> very much a case of wanting the day to be over. Fair enough. They so push um, on ahead. When... Uh, they, you do find the wheel catches over a rock every now and then and you go up and down straight away. A bit uncomfortable, but you find a place to set up. Um, when we stop, can I head over to Rook? Mm -hmm. um, have you spoken to the horses at all past couple of days? Not recently. Um, I was just wondering, with all the rain and the downpour and stuff, such, should we try and give them some shelter at all, or? Just even if it's just a kind of tarp over the oh, just to get them out of the rain for an evening. Well, I mean, anytime we can, 
settle ourselves or them into somewhere dry, we should. That's mainly why we set up camp around the trees, because they'll cast a, a, at least a bit of the water. But, yes. um... No, I think with the, uh, potential danger ahead, I've been avoiding, uh, I've been preparing some more dire spells than, uh, speaking with animals. Uh, oh, okay, that, that sort of makes sense, that's fair enough. I just, yeah, I wasn't sure, because especially when we were coming off-road, um, they seem to be pulling against their reins and not really enjoying the weather, which, I mean, I can completely understand, it's mm. pretty shitty. But, um, yes, just to get their coats out of the uh, the rain for an evening might be a, a treat for them. We can try to find a, a spot with a particularly large canopy. Mm -hmm. But, like, it's not as if not moving is going to make the rain stop. No, no, of course not. But as long as it's not on there, directly on top of them. We'll see. Um, and then I'll head over to Rosh Tana. Hello. Hello. Um, you're good with medically stuff, aren't you? Um, ish? Yes? I mean, you heal. I do. Um, I was just wondering, could you... I've had this lump on my head since Rook hit me. I just want was wondering if you could take a look at it. Sure, I'll take I'll take a look at the lump on his head. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we medicine check, please? Medicine? That's a 14. Okay, you run your hands over where uh, Vane is pointed to. And do... Yeah, you do find like a, a little lump on his horn. Mm-hmm. But that's certainly not something that Rook would have given him from, a, you know, a shillelagh attack. Mm -hmm. Maybe a broken horn, but not an extra lump. Hmm. I don't think that's from Rook, though. Hmm? That's not from Rook. Well, I don't know what, what. What could it be from then? I'm not sure. I mean, lumps normally aren't good, right? They are not! Mm. Does it feel squishy or is it hard? It's very hard. Hmm. As in as hard as a horn? <laughs> a little bit harder. Be fine. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I'll, I'll I'll keep an keep an eye on it. Um, I mean, as long as you don't feel dizzy or nauseous or. No, no, no. I well, I mean, I did after I hit it again on the barrel when I was flying that one time. But I th yeah, I think I think that was actually the just the hit as opposed to the bump. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, don't oh, hit your head again, please. It's not something I try to do. It's been happening happen. a lot lately. Yes, it has. Although I did die, so... Yeah, don't do that either. Please. Yes. I... Hmm. You... If it starts really... hurting, you tell me. I will. I will. Rel religious wise, you, you you were it, when we were in the grave district. You had some sort of knowledge regarding that sort of religious side of things, correct? Yeah. When I when I wasn't wasn't here, mm -hmm. the I was, I sort of, I was in this sort of mountainous, grey, desolate expanse, and there was a random man who was scared of me. Scared uh, of you. Flying, well, I think he was just scared of everything. 
But you, it was like a kind of limbo kind of feeling. There was a bird flying overhead, and it, it, it sort of was trying to get me when I managed to escape. And that old Granny Gretfern pulled me through the door, which was actually a cauldron. I don't really know what to make of it, whether it was just my brain coming back to consciousness or if it was something more, but it was very strange. Have you ever does, heard of anything? Does that sound ring does that ring a bell for me or a little bit. Um you do remember Imam Dufon, the uh, Corvain, mm -hmm. spoke about souls not being able to reach their intended afterlife. Uh. And that uh, is mostly due to what they call the Raycor curse. Mm -hmm. And it is the belief in the Grave District that the Raven Queen um, has been taken in certain souls, taken them refuge mm -hmm. for the time being. That, you know, the symbolism of the bird might be yeah. related. Yeah, it might have something to do with you haven't been dead, of course. And with the curse going through, you not having been able to reach your actual pa past life-ish. Bird might be something correlated to the Raven Queen? Hmm. I'm not sure, but when we get back, we could ask the Coravane. Yes. They, they, they were, yes, they, they were, because well, it reminded me of the, when we were in the grave district and the bird flew over and it was, but it's, it didn't feel the same. It felt more, less of a guardian and more of a predator. Oh. But yes. Hmm. Yeah. I, th I think, I think when, yes, when we get back, I think it'd be good to seek out some answers maybe or at least yeah. a second opinion oh, definitely. thank you thank you for humoring me <laughs> anytime do you think they'll too. have questions uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a big camp sorry um as as that was the, the rain was just about to weakly smile when Rook was like, <laughs> "Good thing they have questions." Uh, I assume they would have. I mean, isn't there a issue with resurrection here? Yeah, there is. So, I mean, I'm you come sure. back undead, uh, I think, ish, and you cannot be resurrected. Hmm. Well, then how you know, those, did the granny bones. how did she resurrect you yeah i, I, I don't know i, I wasn't there thing. answers are probably best to be sought with the coravan and stuff like that but i i don't know much about them the, i haven't the, spent a lot of time there but uh, should we be concerned with bringing I mean, them information like this I mean, it might also explain the ominous vibe I'm getting from Fane lately. Hmm? You're getting an ominous vibe? Did I tell you, Rook? I don't know what you're talking about. I told you when we're back in the in the town with the bees. I have no recollection of this conversation. I'm sure I told you. You were sitting next to me. It was when Fane went up to, to bed. Might have just when he went to bed? Yeah. 
I was keeping an eye on him with the owl. I can't hear shit when I'm looking through the owl's eyes. Not me oh. personally. I can hear through the owl. Wait, so you're getting a... a what? Well, when we were camping, I did cast uh, Detect Evil and Good on you. Just to be sure. You never know. And oh. I got an anonymous feeling vibe from you after you were resurrected. Might have been just your exhaustion and everything you've went through, but now I'm thinking it's more the resurrection that's happened. Mm. Um, so, uh, was it, sorry, I, I'm, you, was I, was I, when was this? You were knocked out cold. And I was, e I am evil, or what, I? You're not, you're not evil, but after the resurrection thing, there's this weird vibe coming from you. Do you feel any different? Um, I mean, I was exhausted. I was felt not myself for a while, but I think that was just the residual being deadness. I feel fine now. I mean, I haven't felt any different than my usual self, apart from the tiredness. But I'm. I'm feeling much more, you know, with it now. Hmm. I uh, yeah, I don't, I don't feel any, any different. Hmm. I don't like it. Can I cast attack evil and good again? Uh, sure. Boop. Oh, please tell me you booped me and that's how you I detect. booped you. <laughs> <laughs> On the nose. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna message you. <laughs> okay. Secrets. Secrets. I do not get to keep. <laughs> Take them to your grave. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone, cover your eyes and plug your ears so that she can't tell us any of her secrets. <laughs> Quick, owl, flee with my senses. <laughs> Get the owl to pick Vane up and fly him away. Gosh. Well, um, I'm still getting the same vibe. I just, I can't put my finger on it. I mean, can you, can you be more specific about what you mean when you say vibe? Well, it's not really. It's just like, it's an ominous feeling. And like the aura, it's unsettling. It's like, he's not, I mean, he is not human. But no, no, it, it also, human. I mean, I, I know. Suppo I suppose we have the disadvantage of not knowing whether he had this ominous vibe before he was brought back to life. Well, he's also not tiefling. Huh? But I don't know what you are. Well, I, I, mean, I mean, he's not a tiefling. Th that's what I'm getting from casting the spell. Rain looks at himself like, pretty sure I'm a tiefling. I will say, Maybe. 
I, I do yeah. believe you've cast it before, like in the forest, and yeah, not that you were looking at him, but I... mm -hmm. <laughs> but the forest was also Fey and everything. Yeah, you didn't notice anything off about Vane then. This is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The rook's gonna like lean over to, to Roshanna and like not very subtly just put his hand over his mouth and say, Do you think we need to like moonbeam him in the morning? Mm, I think we're if, fine. Do you think it's yeah, the real vein? I mean, he seems like the real vein to me. I need to die. How real could you get? Yeah, and that doesn't happen every day. Maybe we need to ask him questions. Wait, you're saying I'm not a... I, I mean, I, have, I am and have always been a tiefling? Well, you're not now. Once again, kind of looks at himself. <laughs> I kind of am. I mean, appearance-wise, maybe. But apparently you're not. I still have all my... T I'm... I'm I still have all my tiefling things. Maybe that bump is something correlated to it? My bump. He has a well, bump this, on his head, near his horn, well, this, where this you hit him. Came, How does this just someone came from prove there here. were tiefling? Hmm? I know, we're devilishly sexy, have <laughs> horns, resistant to fire. No, so I'm are we sure fire. you still have that? I'll hold out my hand and produce a flame. <laughs> flame grabs. I, I do want to remind the you, maybe hand. it's not smart to have the flame. We're near hill giants. It's only a little flame. Size I mean, of your palm. Okay, that's fine. That's how deforestation starts. <laughs> it's <not> fine. <laughs> how bad Mainal could I grab be? The <laughs> There. Um, Great Vane will grab the embers fire. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Um, can you give me the uh, just a damage roll for produce flame? Sure. Please work. Damage. You take nine points of fire damage, Vane. How much? <laughs> now, Vane. <sighs> Having heard things in the past, uh, especially in your childhood, being uh, very secluded, but also surrounded by mostly human folk, and not exactly the nicest human folk either, you've always known that you've had a uh, somewhat of, a, of an affinity, but also a resistance to fire. Mm -hmm. And you've played around with it in the past. Yeah, little neat little party trick. Yeah. But it's the first time that you felt real intense heat that shoots through your nervous system and instinctually you pull back with a burn this mark down gonna, your head. This is totally not planned, but for some reason my fire alarm is going off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I will also cast Cure Wounds at first level on Vey now. Mm -hmm. You get seven points back. Thank you. My You'll fire alarm stopped. That's <laughs> uh, so fucking weird. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> yeah, you watch as uh, magic. Bright pinkish flesh begins to stitch, stitch together again. Vein. Uh, Vein's looking like more confused. Well, like not as confused as he was when he came back to life, but pretty fucking close to like the pain in his hand and like can, the um of sensation can uh can rook like see his reaction and like sort of clock in that it's a lot worse than the other times he's been hit by fire um immediately start thinking does he know of like resurrection magics that do alter things forms Ooh. as a druid Give me a wisdom check. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, oh no. 
It's... I mean, you're aware of them, obviously. Um, <laughs> it's just happened before you. But you've also heard mm. stories as well. Um, but the actual... mechanics behind it, and uh, the magic that is used, and how someone is resurrected. You're not... It's not within your realm just yet. Hmm. Hmm. So the question lies that if you are no longer a tiefling, what are you? I'll start circling him, poking. Oh. I, I will say, I asked how do you prove if someone's a tiefling because I was thinking... Fiend. Owl. I swear to God. Yep. And uh, gets Ivory on his shoulder. I don't have the echo thing. Oh. Do you see anything? You see Ivory's head like swivels around on the perfect axis. The little galaxy eyes peers at you with veins. You see her head tilts ever so slightly. And then back again. the opposite way. No. Charming. No, apparently not. Mm. But also, don't... Aren't fiends... They can... Resist fire as well, right? Well, yes, I think we've established that it's changed. Yeah, okay, I was just checking. <sighs> Vane's, like, sweating a little bit. Hey, like, yeah. rubbing at his, his hand. Because it's, yeah. like, that, Stinging. it's that, like, blistering feeling. Hey, Vane, can I see your head for a moment? Mm. Vane, like, kneels down. Uh, Rook is going to very like gingerly and without like touching or putting too much force he's going to like check the area like around where the horns sort of protrude mm -hmm. to see if they still look like they're as like, firmly attached to his head as ever or if they're sort of Don't tell me I'm going to have like a deer situation and my horns are going to fall off <laughs> as well as getting an idea for what the uh, what the bump looks like okay um so you're not touching. No, because I don't want to knock inspecting. it off. Yeah. Okay. If you're like giving a good look over, give me an investigation check, please. Can I guide myself? You may indeed. Excellent. Ooh, very nice. You give a closer inspection. Uh, the, the horns definitely seem to be firmly attached. Good. Good. Um, good. You do take a look over to where Vane points out the little bump that he's noticed. It seems to be like a new growth coming out of the horn, close to um, like the foremost part. Uh, like, just a reminder: Vane's horns are like a crown around his head, so mm -hmm. near the uh, top of the horn, near the front of the skull. same colour and everything. It just seems to be like a little thorn, almost. Smoothed over the top. Is this when Vane becomes more horny? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. The, the, the true bar has, has come on. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. cast Moonbeam. <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's been wonderful knowing you all. <laughs> uh, Vane, other than this bump in your head, has there been any other... Um, Bodily changes. Uh, apart from the burn, no. Not that I'm aware of. You see, Vane closes his hands around the burn. You see his nails are completely black. <laughs> That's new. Hmm. Hmm? You were a nail polish? 
Uh, what do you think? I mean, I did die. But, um, no, that's weird. Ben's like now looking at his nails. Mm -hmm. Kind of like rubbing <laughs> at them. Take your shoes off. Uh, it's raining. Get in Sit the car the and do it. Uh -huh. God, problem solving Bain. skills, Vane. Come on. There's a lot going on, okay? And Vane will hop, like, and sit on the back of the cart and undo uh, his shoe and pull it off. You see the nails on his. His toenails are black as well. Mm. Any change to his. um like his complexion that investigation not really no his eyes are a little bit clouded it's only Same when you get God. really close up it's, it's like seeing the start of a cataract begin to form oh great i've got cataract <laughs> you can still see it's just a from the outside in perspective no more dark vision for you. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. <laughs> when can you still see in the dark? Well, I mean, yes. Okay. Well, I, I think so. I've never not seen in the dark, so I don't know what not seeing in the dark looks like. Darkness. <laughs> Kate, Kato, give him your goggles to see if there's any difference. Okay. Pulls them off his head and hands them to you, Vane. I want them back. I put them on. I don't believe they're attunement. I have no idea. <laughs> Good glaze of night. Let's see. I don't know, you can just pop them on. I put them on. Mm -hmm. Um. Any I mean, with the night vision goggles, everything takes on a bit of a green hue. Mm -hmm. But you can still make out shapes and everything. Oh, this is horrible. And I take them off and hand them back to Kato. Oh, gee, thanks. Okay. Everything was green. Hmm. Cloudy eyes, black fingernails. Maintains the same complexion. Appears to have another sort of horn protrusion. Do those characteristics ring the bell of any sort of other creature that I would, I would be aware of? Other, uh, you know, sentient race? Um. Hmm. Give me a arcana check, please. Mm, I will guide myself. You already? I believe oh because God. I've got black nails now, it's dark honor, actually. Oh mm, my God. Mm, mm, not for me, it's not. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him now. <laughs> <laughs> He's just getting stronger. If a 16 is considered a fail, I'll use Fey Gift to make it better. Okay. Uh, make it a 19. 19. Um, I mean, there's plenty of creatures that have black nails and uh, clouded eyes. It's odd. It seems to be like a, a, a mismatch of like features. Mm. I mean, you know, plenty of goblinoids that have blackened nails. There's uh, oh. also plenty of fiends that do. As for the clouded eyes, uh, that could be anything celestial. Elemental. I um, think, like, from from a fiend perspective, you say that obviously some fiends have black nails. Do, like, my mum, uh, anything, could, 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 can I, like, think of if anything might, like, if it might be like a, like, I'm evolving as a fiend kind of thing? 
Oh, you're not Tina Dolphine anymore. Well, you're you're in puberty. <laughs> yeah, basically, am I going through really, really, really late stage puberty? <laughs> Second puberty. Second, life. Second, Second puberty. Uh, give me an arcana or history because you've got that connection there with your mum. Uh, I'll probably go with our history. Ooh. Your mother would have told you stories in the past of certain individuals who through uh, devious endeavors would end up in the hells and would fight their way to become fiends she taught you this though less of a like this is our history and more of a <laughs> uh, this is just a story that I heard when I was younger and she taught you about it. And the but. the place where I was when I was deceased. Did that? The, I, I can't remember if we spoke about it at the time. Did this ring any hell bells? <laughs> the, like the scene, not the scenery, because obviously it's it was very, you know. It could have. Mm. One of the layers, potentially. Unfortunately, the uh, hells themselves, they are, as I said, you know, multi-layered. And uh, within those different layers yeah. there are different environs as well. Yeah. Um, but your mother would have told you that story as well. Less, if anything, to do with tieflings. Just humans other races that decided to go down this route and uh, take up a fiendish helm. Mm. So, you're not... No, you're not going through second puberty. Sad. You think. <laughs> but it, it was like a, a lesson that your mother would have taught you that uh, it really doesn't matter where you come from, you're all capable of evil. Happy times. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Kind of, I don't mind the, you know, the lights down at the pub. Mm. I, um... Rain's, like, feeling very, uh... Confused, and also... Uh... I wanna say... Um... Exposed, maybe, is the right word? Just with everyone kind of, like, looking at him... And him being confused about what's happening. Everyone and everyone else being confused. Yeah, yeah every, like for free as well. I mean, it's... Yeah. So he puts his he puts his boot back on and it's like... Kind of... Kind of shucks a little bit. Do you really put on really boots like... without socks? What's a sock? Kato I'm joking. Pinches. I'm joking. Of course, I know what a sock is, Kato. I, 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 um, I like the feel of these boots. They've got a sort of fur inside, so they're quite uh, comfortable. Also, trudging around in the rain sometimes it's better not to have another thing to soak it up. Yeah. It means yeah. when you go to bed, you can slip on your dry socks, and you know it's nice. It's true. True, but if you get proper treated boots, you don't need to worry about that issue. I can give you a great tip. If you take um, a pair of socks and you put them in the bag of colding, um, after a long day's travel of walking, uh, you can take the, the socks out of the bag of colding and they'll be nice and cool and you can put them on and it makes your feel, feet feel a lot better. Have you ever been putting socks into the bag of colding? I do not. Uh, Is no, that no, why it's keep, it, it keeps smelling like stinky feet? There's a lot of viscera in there. I haven't been. I I I don't go near your bags. That's the uh, phase job, apparently. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a kind of a communal bag, but I appreciate it, I guess. Well, yes, it's a communal bag, but um, 
you know, it's, it's on your person, and I feel if I was going to go through it, I might go through you first, unless you were otherwise indisposed. It is usually right beside me, so, you know, it makes sense. Yes, or you hug it while you sleep. Not so much since getting out of the forest. No, no, I, I, yes, I, I understand that. Um, well, the, I'm going to go to bed as I feel very uncomfortable mm -hmm. with everything that's just been told to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling a little bit sick. Makes sense. Um, just to say before we, you know, forget about it, do we want to, like, start keeping, like, a documented journal of any changes to, like, the bump in your head or anything like that? Or do you just want to, like... I shall jot it, it down. Um, I shall jot it. I have got some uh, pen and paper. I'll, I'll jot it down. Um, but, um... Rishana, next time you cast something like that on me and notice any major changes, do do tell me. I... Well, I mean, you were already traumatized a lot. Yes, I suppose that's true. Well, you thank you for dead to the world caring. Mm -hmm. Thank you for caring, but... Um, Always. Yes, but... Uh, yes, thank you. Um... Anytime. I uh, can I take third watch today? I, yeah. Um, thank you. And they like will start setting up the tent and kind of disappearing. Okay. Cater just begins rubbing at his head. Yeah, I know that feeling. A little mystery. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it now. No. Maybe. And I certainly don't feel like going back to that witch for answers. No. Definitely not. not. They might have something down in Daglian. Hopefully. Wishful thinking, but... Hmm. I don't know, I feel like whatever this is, is not something that anyone has seen in quite some time. Well. I, can I think we'll leave. First watch, if that's alright. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think we'll leave the uh, tracking of physical changes to vein, but we should each keep an eye out for any sort of uh, psychological changes that may uh, accompany this. We don't know what it's from. We can't say, guarantee. He could have some bias as well. Mm -hmm. mm. Probably best if we just keep an eye on him. Yeah. We don't know whether this is from the magic that brought him back or exposure to wherever he was when he was gone. And then the fact that he shouldn't even be able to be res resurrected with the curse. Well, I feel like the, uh, the the curse is more about the diamonds, isn't it? I mean, yeah, but they did also mention that those brought back had like something missing, or they had a, a madness to them. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Stay vigilant. Mm-hmm. Always. I'll uh, find a place to rest. Same. Ready? Okay. Kato is going to take first watch. No. All righty. Hmm. Oh. Uh, 
Rook, you come through next morning. Thankfully, Damn. the uh, rain has faded out at this point. Rook just does that thing where like, his, his eyes dart open and he just sort of looks to the left and the right mm -hmm. for a minute, a little bit disorientated. Tries to think back to see if he was woken up and fell asleep during his watch. And once he's confident enough that it wasn't the case, he sort of gets up in a in a sort of foul mood. Yeah. Mm. You see, he sat up against the uh, cart wheel with a uh, piece of blanket, like, kind of just draped over him to keep him from getting soaked. You see, Kayla was just, like, dozing. Uh, looks at staff in hand. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. And I go and I wake up the other two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wakey, wakey. It's, it's morning? It's my day? No. No, it's oh. not. Did Kato fall asleep? Yeah. I mean, we're alive. So. I mean, yeah, but... Wow. Yeah, I know. Kato Earlier. might not be alive after this. Yeah. Yeah, but I think we should... Uh, since we're getting into the heart of enemy territory, it's best that we're not at each other's throats. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Probably true. So why I don't mean, for the... I say probably, but definitely. I'll, I'll get my water skin and drop all the water that's in there on Kato. <gasps> I'm packing up the tent as this happens. Good morning, Kato. Uh... <laughs> Hope you had a good slumber. Yeah, I hope you did, too. Yeah, certainly did. And uh, thankfully, we're still alive. Yeah, you see his eyes wide and he's just looking <laughs> left and right. <laughs> and he... Next time we make it into a town, we're buying coffee. The runner coffee? No, no, regular no, coffee. No, please, okay. Please, no. <laughs> um, hmm. Does anyone smell smoke? Do we? You give me a perception check. I look at my hands to make sure it's not still. On fire. I try to smell. Twenty-one. Smoke. Ooh. I'm not even gonna bother. Very good sniff, sniffs. Sniff, sniff. Um. <laughs> but actually, Vane is Vane. Like, what? As soon as he says that, Vane's like checking himself to make sure he's not the one that smells of smoke. Oh my god! Oh god, could you imagine? Another thing for the list. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you have a good sniff sniff like bear in the big blue house, uh, there is a, a very faint smell of smoke. Yeah. Seems to be coming from somewhere further in the forest. Or further in the tree line, I should say. Hmm. Are the horses still here? They are. Uh, okay. Huh. Just to make sure they are not being made stew for the hill giants. They're currently on a spit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not something we should investigate, though. It would be nice to know what it is, but uh, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Exactly. I mean, assuming I still have the ability to I could go invisible and go and check. But... Mm -hmm. Things like that are dangerous in forests. There's any number of things on the ground that can give away one's location. Yeah. Yes, I'm more worried about them. Well, I'm not more worried, but I'm worried about them coming up behind us as we travel. I could send a familiar that direction. 
That would be smart. Yeah, I think so. What are we feeling? Another owl? Well, if you do it while we get on the road. Um... Maybe something smaller? No, like a, like a rabbit or a hare. Pigeon. Barrel? I think a bird is still, still a good idea because you can go into the trees or just maybe an owl because they're nocturnal. Yeah, Around well, the, a sparrow. If, uh, sure, if we're, if we're planning on moving, then uh, it'll be a matter of me telling it to do something and then coming and finding me later to relay what it's found. So information name it may not be as uh, precise, no, but no, still better than can, nothing. You can sit in the back for a while and focus mm -hmm. on that while we do the traveling. Yeah. Quiet. Sure. Um, I don't really foresee it being within 100 feet of us, but uh, we'll give it a go. Yeah. And I'll search around in my pockets for a second before I pull out a uh, sparrow. Mm -hmm. um, I will hop up on the, the reins. Okay. On the... What's, that, what's the front bit called? Seat? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> driver's seat, sure. Yeah, yeah. The driver's seat. <laughs> That's what I've been calling it all the time. I didn't know yeah. if it was yeah. right or not. <laughs> no idea. Um, and then I'll um, do that thing with the roll. Okay. I will do the, the looking. The looking. Lovely. Yeah. 24. Lovely. And I'll have Kato roll the d20. And just give me a perception check with the uh, sparrow, please, Rook. Sure. Um, as far as what a sparrow is uh, mechanically, it's a bird. Sure. The small bird. I guess. Uh, I'd say owl still, just not with the night still. vision and maybe an extra ten feet to its uh, speed. Yeah. I say perception is roughly the same, just maybe not with advantage. Sure, sure, sure. So I don't think I've ever got a catching birds. Yeah. They're catching uh, uh, bugs, I should say. Do, do, maybe one, an increase of Plus three. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself at this point, talking about well, making a character 11. sheet for a sparrow. And I was All looking right. up bird tiny, and there's apparently a sheet for it. <laughs> nice. Okay. Also, I, I quickly checked what the uh, what the like carriage driver sits on, uh, and apparently when it's on the front, it's called a dicky box. A dicky yeah, box. I was looking. I was looking cool. it up too. It is. Um. No. Okay. I prefer. Seat. <laughs> it's I now a dicky up, box. I, I hop up on the dicky box. Ben <laughs> sitting on the dicky box. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Vane, uh, you coax the horses back down and they they skid a little bit on the slippery muck um, as they re return you back to the road, but thankfully there isn't any more issues than that. Um, okay, good. The weather, it's... The clouds are lingering, but there's no rain, thankfully. Um, so it's a bit of a bit of a dreary and dark day, reminiscent of being back in Clan Cymru. Ah, uh, memories. Yeah. Shall all I? alone in the moon. Remember, remember all the good times. <laughs> the one where remember, we're fighting undead. Remember when I got remember kidnapped? The witch water. Uh, which time? <laughs> all the time. Best all time. All the time. <laughs> uh, Rashana, you keep a keen eye out and mm -hmm. uh, just keeping the a reminder with the smell of smoke in your nostrils. You do look over to where Rook had sent out the little sparrow, and just in the distance you see the very, very faint um, ends of the smoke trail flittering off into the sky. It seems to be a ways off, but it doesn't seem to be moving. It's just a very concentrated fire, we'll leave it at that. Uh, Relative the to wetness. the cart on the road, mm -hmm. what direction is the... Uh the plume of smoke okay so where you are right now it is round this way sorry okay okay uh, and i think you're pointing there to where the footprints mm. went by <laughs> yeah so you're saying it's not this direction the smoke no 
good. That's no, good. it's not coming from Taglion. Uh, you close your eyes, Rook, and uh, zoom into your little sparrow's uh, perception as it flits forward. Uh, it soars above the trees before you come across this uh, plume of smoke that Roshana had just spotted. And with a quick aerial view, the sparrow flits out its wings and just begins to glide uh, round in a circle. Of... And from above, you can see three hill giants that are currently sat around a very large fire. Um, there's a large pit that's been made, but not a lot of the wood has caught, just because of the dampness. Um, but what smoke is there obviously has alerted you. Uh, and you see that there seems to be roasting something on top. Um, two of the hill giants are kind of just laying on their sides, not really paying attention to anything. They're kind of just lazing about. Uh, and the third hill giant then is uh, tending to the fire and beginning to rotate whatever it is they have on this little spit that they've got going. I'll uh, drop out of my uh, familiar's vision and mm -hmm. just look to the rest of the party. Uh, mm -hmm. Seems like it's a camp set up by three hill giants. They seem to be making food at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, roughly how far from us would I say it is? Uh, say at this point it's roughly about 500 feet. It's quite a distance. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good we can go look at it ourselves then. By ourselves, sure. As a group, we mm -hmm. may have been able to make do. Mm -hmm. um, I am somewhat cautious about knowing that they're behind us. Yeah. Yeah, same. I don't know if uh, it's something the rest of you feel confident about. Trying to uh, make sure that we don't leave anything behind us. Mm -hmm. I think I'd say the last thing we want is to run into something about uh, up ahead and then then come up behind us as well. Yeah. Yes, because we don't, we haven't seen it yet. But uh, mm -hmm. if there is truly uh, some sort of intelligent creature keeping uh, command of these pe these creatures, then at some point we're going to run into someone who is able to set off an alarm or a horn mm -hmm. or something that can alert others. And also, the, if there is some smart overseer of these um, giants, the less they have to, like, the less troops they have to play with might be to our advantage. Uh, between myself and Vane, we might be able to lock them down long enough for us to be able to take them on one at a time. We can try. Mm. How would what do you, you think, Kato? Suggest unlocking them down. Well, Vane, I believe your um, slowing spell is uh, an area of effect. Uh, yes. So, if we get the jump, then not only can uh, Vane attempt to slow them all down immediately, uh, I would imagine a few of them will get caught in the spell, just statistically speaking. Uh, and then I have a uh, spell I haven't had the chance to use yet that allows mm -hmm. me to summon an icy storm that uh, that less dexterous creatures would find a very hard time moving in. Hmm. Will it affect us as well? If we're in the area, but hmm. if we're strategic in its placement, yeah, because... we can lock down at least two of them. Mm-hmm. So, should we leave the uh, carriage here? And... I think we pull the cart back into where we had set up, mm -hmm. and then on foot we make our way towards them as stealthily as possible. Yeah. How far had we traveled? Not that far. I'd say the camp is maybe about 600 feet now. where you are. Don't want to take a couple of minutes to turn back and get to where we were. Mm -hmm. 
everyone happy with this idea? Wait, do you mean their camp oh, yeah. or where we were camping? Where they're camping. Okay, when, uh, how far back is where we camped for the evening? Um, I'd say you're about 800 feet. Okay. Take a couple of minutes. No, more than a couple of minutes, but we can do it. <clears throat> I will be back in one second. It started raining, so I need to let the dog in. Okay. Mm. Uh, I guess um, I'll turn the cart around and head back to our camp. Okay. If everyone's agreed. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, we'll just hide the horses the best we can. Mm-hmm. And hope they don't get picked um, off while we're away. Let me see. Okay. I will... Give a vigilant blessing to Vane. Alrighty. So he gets advantage. Yay, me. Oh. Um, yeah, when I, um, when we get to the campsite, we'll pop the I pop the coats over the horses. Mm -hmm. I'm just to keep them a, a little bit warm. Alrighty. Um, while we're away. Um, and then, you know, give them a, a stroke and, and uh, say, we'll, we'll be back soon. Don't you worry. Okay. And then I'll. Meet up with the group. Already? Right. So, move in mm -hmm. as stealthily as possible. Oh boy. And, uh, and, um, let's see, uh, I'll, I'll try and slow them. Rook tries to. I see them and pick them off one by one. Uh, who did Roshanna give the uh, uh, vigilant uh, to Vian? To the, yeah, I will uh, cast uh, uh, guidance on Roshanna. Oh, thank you. I will also pull up the hoot from the cloak of elven kind. Already? How long is it going to take us to walk over there? I'm just before I. Because I do want to do something and then it run out. By the I think it's going to be there. over. It's going to be like at least fifteen minutes to walk up. Mm -hmm. oh, um, when we're getting this guidance is going <laughs> to. I take it back. Else to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to say. Um, yeah, I'll wait until we're like within, you know, a, a four or five minute kind of stretch, and then I'll. Um, uh, I'll bardic inspiration someone when we get there. Okay. Alrighty. You guys uh, leave the horses behind and begin climbing up uh, the earth. It seems to have it seems to rise on this side along with the tree growth. You have to watch your footing every now and then as uh, the rain from the day previous has made it a little bit slick. But you manage to uh, heave yourself up and maneuver your way in the direction that your familiar had uh, flown, Rook. After about 10, 12 minutes or so... I would like to stealth. <laughs> Just about to ask. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me stealth rolls, please, guys. And that's 15 with the cloak. He's tricks to luck. Damn, Kato! Wow. I'll take, I'll take the first one. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, 
you begin to approach and you do see that the space does open up. Um, the trees become a little bit more sparse and a couple of them have been toppled. Um, as just beyond the tree line you can see a the large lumbering form of a hill giant. You see he's turning the spoke. Is the spoke? The spoke of the spit? He's turning the handle of the spit. <laughs> and atop yeah. of it you see a very large, what looks to be like um, a giant boar. I will yeah. cast Bardic Inspiration on Roshana. Okay. Thank you. And what you do. Does it smell good? It does smell good, actually. Um, mm. I thought you meant the Bardic Inspiration, but... <laughs> uh, just Maybe? Bardic... I... <laughs> <laughs> just throw the Bardic Inspiration up there. Uh, please, Vane. Oh, yeah, I, I clicked it, but I clicked the cock instead of the... Mm. Uh, okay. And uh, how do you inspire Roshana? Uh, just go shh. <laughs> As you do so, you see the giant who is turning the spit looks over in your direction. I'd like everyone to make me another cell check, please. Oh no. Thank goodness. I'm going to use fake uh, fortune of the mini to make mine a 10. Okay. And then. Already. The hill giant keeps a wary eye out for a moment. It seems to have heard something. Oof. But it turns back to the spit. It keeps rotating the boar. I should say, the spore. <laughs> the meat smells good. The burning fur, not so much. <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah. They're not smart. Roshanna is a daughter of a butcher. You can't let this stand. I am. I am disgusted. The indignity. So I'm assuming you guys creep forward to get you over yeah. to the mm -hmm. map. Very slowly. Slowly, slowly, get your monkey. Darkness. Oh my god. And I will let you know. You are coming from this direction here. I can zoom out. Which direction? I'm pinging. Oh, that. Okay, cool. That's why it was taking a while to load. But it's loaded in. Which way can I go on? <laughs> I'm in the tree. <laughs> he set up his hammock again, hasn't he? Uh, what do we do? Uh, um, we, have... we need to get them closer together, I think. Hang on, I'm just double checking to make sure that that's true. I'm pretty sure it is. Forty foots. Hey, Cato, what's the range on your uh, move stuff with your mind ability? Hmm. This is Still a fifty foot. Not. The thing is, I don't think I've ever moved something that big. I mean, if you could, if you could knock over their uh, meal. Hmm. Try that. That could maybe instigate some sort of a hey, what the fuck you doing sort of deal and they might group up to uh, deal with it. I believe it's up to 40 or 50 feet with him. I'm not certain. Mm. <clears throat> I know it does increase with his uh... does it? No. Sorry, guys, I have to just check this real quick because I don't want to. That's cool. okay. How dare you play someone else's right. character? In the meantime, I will boop Vane on the shoulder and cast Shield of Fate. 
Okay. I'm trying to figure out what a 40 foot square is. Okay, and you get plus two to your AC Thank for you. 10 minutes. If I keep concentrated. If, uh, if Kato needs to get closer to do it, it might be, uh, it might be worth, uh, Vane, you casting invisibility on him. Um, yes. Yeah, I have to get no within 30 feet. I can do that. That's fine. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how to draw a square. You should have squares available to you. Do you not have a 40 one? No, I've got I've got 50 and 20. I, I was trying to... It's cool. It, it, it's fine. I think I've got it. That's not right. But well, if you get two 20s and then put them on a diagonal to each other, that'll give you the 40. I know you'd be smart. That's a circle. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well done. Okay, now put the other one down. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, and now... Now you drag one yep. of them. There, there you go. go. Thank you. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll put this over here for a second. Because I don't want it to be it, so that you have to make it again. Uh, I will cast invisibility on Kato. They're ready if you're up there. Um, for description purposes only. Okay, um, this is weird. You can't see it, but Kato's looking down at his hands and he can't see them, so... Cool. Um, so... Once, Get used to it. Once I knock it over, then Rook, you're going to. Once you knock it over, we're hoping that they uh, react and group up. Okay. And if they group yes. up, then uh, then uh, both me and Vane will uh, attempt to lock them down. If they start to group up, you might want to take a couple of steps back, because once Vane casts his other spell, I imagine your invisibility will leave. Yes. Yeah, Ideally, I'll, cast I'll, your thing and kind of move backwards. I'll be in the free anyway. Hmm. Okay. So, Kato's going to attempt to step forward with advantage. Guidance. The, and guidance, thank you very much. Okay. I mean, we can all probably, like, I mean, Bane will probably stealth forward to, like, yeah, ish, like behind the tree, but. Yeah. I will stay with Vayne where possible. Okay. It only needs to just touch, right? Sorry? The spell only needs to, like, just caress them. So, like... It's like a move here. If this one on the right here... It were should, to move yeah. Over it should, it's just... Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to like think of positioning and do I have do, do I need to be in a position so that I can hit it at the center um I don't think so I think you could just do it I might uh, be wrong yeah. on that <laughs> Who knows? With, within, I'm, I'm not, within yeah I'm not terribly struck on That's good. I think as long as it's somewhat within range isn't it Works for me. Oh, fucking no, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Ah! That's another question I'll have to answer for you next week. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so right. we're up here. Kato's pee <laughs> pee. <laughs> okay, he uses pee -pee. His, his pee pee. And you watch as the boar just wiggles for a moment on top of the spit and then onto the fire. Uh, Kato is now revealed. Well, that's not an attack, is it? Is it an attack? I thought it was an action. 
might be wrong. Uh, no, it's it's whenever you make an attack or cast the spell. Ooh. Ooh, that's very good. Thanks for mm. clearing that up. No problem. Jesus. I wouldn't put Kato in, in that much danger of a suggestion if I thought he'd die. <laughs> go, go out there and invis while invisible and then just become visible. <laughs> yeah. In the middle of three giants. You see the giant over here uh, kind of sits up. What's your mind? Trying to holds himself onto his haunches and then stands up. This giant here is like trying to push the boar back into place. This giant walks over, grabs a few logs and then begins slowly carrying it around to where the uh, the boar is. This giant here, no fucks given. <laughs> I'll move forward one fucking bastard. Go. I cast slow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I cast Slate Storm. Okay. Throw the mobile up, guys. Mishana, you've done your uh the mm, can't speak shield of faith for vain. Yes, you? Grand. yes, I did. Lovely stuff. Yep, I've got plus two AC. Rishana's got body <laughs> inspiration. Thank you. Okay. How do I make this 30 foot radius sphere into a 40 foot radius sphere? Not to make more templates, god damn it. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Alrighty, so for the slow, we'll start with that first, because that's what's up on roll 20 first. Yay. It is with them, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, with some saving throw. I took 16. 16. One. Oh, fail. <laughs> that's a fail. Yeah. Good. Another fail. They all fail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me put little toucanies. Sorry, I have to move this. Oh, no. You want me to move this? Or... Sorry, just for a moment, please, if you don't mind. Yeah. Thank you. I should have done this beforehand. It's my fault. Uh, da -da -ba -ba -ba. You had nothing honey. else to do. There I mean, you go. Come on. Primary cuddles. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And yep, so they are all hashtag slowed. Nice. Big hoggies. This is the best slow I've ever done. Oh, I don't seem to be able to make this radius bigger myself. Sorry, I'll try that now for a second. Hold on. No, um, right, it might. What? Oh, I see. You made my square bigger. Okay. Um. So I'm going to one, two. And one, two taller and two, two to the side. There we go. Yeah, that should Excellent. be big enough. Yeah, so I will put it there. Alrighty. Lovely stuff. Yeah. And then for the sleet storm. Yes, so until the spell ends, sleet uh, and freezing rain falls within a 20 foot tall radius, 40 foot, I'm oh, sorry, 20 foot tall cylinder, 40 foot radius. Um, it's heavily obscured, so the guys fully inside it can't see. And when a I creature am. enters or starts its turn there, it has to make a dexterity saving throw or fall prone. Okay. <laughs> so, and they have the reduction to dex saves from the slow. So their speed is halved, and then they might be thrown to the ground, which will have it. Damn. And it's, uh, I believe it is, is it difficult terrain? Yes, it's difficult okay. terrain as well. Grant. So Can this I ask, is also uh... on their turn. Oh, okay. When the creature enters the spells area for the first time, well, that is when it starts. So yeah. Yes. Uh, that is deck saves. Let's go now. Poo. Poo. And another poo. All single digits. They're all pro. So many poos. Oh, so many poos. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with uh, moving the templates around again. So mm -hmm. they're all prone. 
How about them? Okay. Um, That's, yeah. Does the fire get put out? Yes. Yes, fire does get put. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the poor, the poor of us cooked for only semi cooked for nothing. Okay, guys. I'd like oh to no, we're roll. we're gonna have that ball. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, but you're butcher. Come, sugar. come on. There's fur on it. It's disgusting. Initiative, these guys. Yup, yup, yup. A team. Oh yeah, initiative. That's the thing that we have to do, right? <laughs> Not the circle. Uh... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the circle gets the initiative. Wait, do I have? I've got advantage on initiative as well, don't I? Yeah, you do. Cool. So initiative. Index saves. Right. It's off the checks. Initiative. <laughs> oh hey, my god! Wow. <laughs> well done, Vane. It's like no. Well done. Thank you. It's like no. Like was, you don't get it. Destiny. <laughs> All righty. So, top of the round, we have Vane. You've uh, cast it slow, and you feel uh, your song <laughs> reach the giant's ears, and they just <laughs> go into slow motion. And then, uh... from the sky above, you see the clouds begin to swirl around before just hitting sleet on top of them. And they just <laughs> stumble on themselves and fall over flat on their backs. What do you yeah. to do? Can I ask a question? Uh, uh, sure. As... Is Kato doing anything? He did his telekinetic movement. Uh, but he's not as an issue. What is he's he rolling? Oh shit, yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kato. <laughs> I'm only used to doing one side, guys, okay? No, it's Sorry. okay, it's all right. You have to Sorry. fight yourself now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's the initiative button? Damn. Uh, top. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> his dex is higher, so he goes before. Okay. And Vane, what would you like to do? Um, I, as it's my first time seeing this sleet storm, I believe, yes. Vane will kind of turn, turn to Rook and go, very cool. And then mm. uh, I will move forward. Uh, yeah, I'll move forward. Around fifteen foot. One, two, three. And I will cast Natural Concentration, so I won't cast. Uh oh wait. I... Man spell casting still fucks me up. I can cast a spell while holding concentration. As long as they're not both. As long as they're not both concentration. concentration. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, cool. Then I will. <laughs> I, I'm having troubles. I apologize. Um, I will cast uh, dissonant whispers. Oh, right. Oh, that's so mean to him. <laughs> and that is um, on which one? Uh, the red man, please. Red man. Red man. Yeah. Um, and... It's a fail. Yeah, oh. bitch. Uh, and it'll... Well, it, I, I will have... Um, as I ran from the tree... Like, forward from the tree, I will have pulled out my viola and I'll just play a, a really painful note. Um, and the melody, like, makes him, makes his brain hurt. Uh, and then that will be three to six. Oh, three they're six, already rolled. Thirteen. 13. Yep. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I thought I got to click the button, but and I did. He immediately uses reaction if available to move as far away from you as possible. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which is, if it's prone. <laughs> yeah. Like you see, like he's on the ground. Crawling like, away on the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like a toddler having a tantrum. It's just put its two hands over its ears. Like, mm! Okay, uh, I was trying to try and get as far away from you as possible. Not so really knowing what's is, going on. It's half and slow. Yeah. 
if he tries to go into the slate, he has he difficult will. terrain, yeah. and he is also prone, which and can't stand up. So half and half again. Half I think from so. Slow, half from difficult terrain, and then half from crawling. Yeah. Oh, he's got to get up. So it's half oh, to get sorry. up. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Have to go through ter difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. And and then half. Ha from half slow. because <laughs> slow. <laughs> he can move twenty so... feet if he's dashing, which he has to do with his reaction. Uh... I believe. Speed well, he, he just oh, it doesn't. It just yeah. So he moves ten feet, stomping into the uh, boar. Mm. <laughs> Poor fella. <laughs> Oh, I can get rid of my square, can't I? Because it's already taken hold. Mm -hmm. um, and then, as a bonus action, uh, which I, uh, I, have used, um, I will cast Bardish Inspirach on my dear, dear friend Kato. Alrighty. Um, and what do you say? Uh, I. I so I'll play the ding, 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 to cause pain to this guy, and then I'll I'll change the uh, octave and the key to make it sound really pleasant for Kato. I won't say anything; it would just be like a like a really kind of invigorating, um, uh, just, yeah, just tune. Already. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Make him jiggle, jiggle. Anything else you'd like to do, Vane? Uh, that's, uh, that's... Actually, I'll move forward another five feet. There we go. Okay. Next up, that's we my turn. have the hill giants. The one that's down there now, something like a deck, so... Oh, yep. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Um, It's a minus two with the slow. Slow, yeah. 16? Uh, 16 will make it. He does not fall on his oh, ass. Yeah. He is. They're all blind, basically. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh shit, they're blind as well. They don't know what. They don't... <laughs> yeah, the downside is we can't see them either, but, they, you know, it's. Oh, it's should I have. Should you have does that one? affect. If we can't see them. Oh no, I saw him because he was. Yeah, yeah you yeah, could yeah, see him. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, roll me 3d8, please, uh, Rook. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. I hope he slips forward and bonks his head on the rock. Eight, okay. And anytime the other two have to start their turn in there as well, they have to do it as well, don't they? Deck save. Ah, uh, well, they're already, well, they're already prone. prone, so I suppose, yeah. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> they all welcome, stand. welcome to area control. They all stand up. Their speed is halved and halved again because it's slow and difficult to rain. So, if they're dashing and, st and standing up, and yeah. standing up, oh my god, standing up is half. It's half again, yeah. and then half again. Jesus Christ! Sorry, and this guy didn't even get that far then it was only five five foot he got to walk as these guys get to run like 10 foot in you know different directions oh, sorry why is it every time um so the red one is going to run to the right 10 well he thinks he's running he's not he's running slow motion <laughs> the blue one is going to run straight down and then the yellow one is going to run one, two, three, four. There we go. No, oh, sorry. Was there? Diagonally, please. God's sake. Mm. They're there slapping their faces, trying to get rid their eyes of the sleet. They are blind as shit. Oh, great. Now it's Kato's turn. <laughs> He just turns around to you guys and goes, Uh... 
I didn't expect that one to run back in. I thought we could. I thought we could kill him. Um, I'm gonna try and throw a dart. Kata goes to like roughly the direction and is going to roll with a disadvantage <laughs> to try and hit. He can't him. have gone far. Let's go with a dot. On attack. Uh, don't mm. tell them I did that. And uh, second attack, because he's got something <laughs> else. Um, a, lot of, a lot of things were relying on sight for him. He does got have blind uh, sight, so he might run up further. That is true. He's also got bardic inspiration. Mm. Well, a natural one, though, that's not going to change anything. Oh, no, no, I was just, just, yeah. He normally has, like, 16 attacks, so I just thought I'd mention it. Um, yep, yeah. so, you're right, he's gonna run forward, and... Oh, he's here! I see him, and... That's a crazy thing that he can do. <laughs> Wild. Ain't it just... He's gonna run once, guys. and then with his bonus action... Gosh, humans are amazing. <laughs> uh, is that disadvantage? Do, 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 do. We'll go with the Helmsman. Which just hits with the slow. <laughs> for, uh... Good, good, good. 13 points. And then with the offhand... Yep, that hits as well. Damn. Hmm. I can't math. I hate this. God fucking damn it. 22 total. Yep. I'm yeah. trying to take it away from them. Get my calculator. I can't help with that. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah pass, pass. Just, just tell me it's health. And I'll no. help you out with math. 27. There, um, there is a thing you can do with, um, you know, when you click on a token and it gives you the yeah. Uh, but honestly, the, the bubbles. Oh, I've so had massive problems with roll twenty in the past, so just yeah. Well, that is roll can... twenty in a nutshell. Yeah, that, that just that business. that statement yeah. as a whole. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Directly in front of me, yeah, Kato hits with the helms and sweater, and then with the other. That should have. Hmm. Oh wait, is it? Sorry, that's wrong. I'm gonna use a different damage. Oh. oh, he's not gonna be happy with that. Um, yeah, it it doesn't matter unless you want to check for crits. But the giant is blinded at the moment, so oh, he yeah, technically with has advantage. advantage. Jesus Christ! We're really sorry that we've given them all of the debuffs, yeah, but at the same time. Three hill giants. <laughs> if, if we could somehow like, you knew exactly what Kato was happening. Fly. You decided to go for it. Sure, sure, sure. Let if me. If we could somehow make Cato fly so he wasn't like hindered by the sleet storm, just leaving him in there, and we just go around the, the perimeter and keep them in, would right. be a real, real play. No crits. Yeah. There we go. Next up, we have Rashana. <laughs> okay, I will. Ooh, move actually, over here. On that <laughs> note, his his dart attack was would have been a sixteen because it would be a straight roll because both of them can't see each other. Oh yeah, another five. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. Um, I will cast guiding bolt on the blue one. Uh, you can't... Next twenty. <laughs> you can't see them. Oh wait, I can't see them. Oh, but it's a twenty, nonetheless. Uh, I mean, yeah. I know that's unfortunate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, it's still a straight roll. It is a straight roll. Can't see each oh, other. it is a straight roll. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Roll so damage. At level two. Blind is weird. Yeah. Blind, blind got me all kinds of fucked up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tw that's 29? <laughs> Viscera everywhere. <laughs> he explodes. And I in the I far distance, you, you see a glowing. <laughs> 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 what color do you want the blue hill giant to glow? Uh, let's go with orange. Yeah, so in the grey darkness, this swirling torrent of sleet and hail, you just see this big glowing orange man in the distance. 
I was wearing high vis. He is OSHA ready. <laughs> <laughs> OSHA violation. Okay. Uh, I think you have to shout it. Um, that's about it. Alrighty. Next up, we have Ruck. What would you like to do? Uh, I will move my 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, and hold up Hello. my shield in front oh. of Vane and just say, There's a lot of rocks in this area. Be careful. If one gets out, they might yeet it at us. Um, mm. As my bonus action, I will cast Shillelagh, so I have that up. And okay. as my action, I will uh, draw power from my star map to cast Guiding Bolt towards where I believe the red one to be. Okay, go for it. Uh, g -g 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 yes. That hits. 15. Roll damage. It radiant damage. Lovely stuff. Uh, that is my movement action, bonus action. Lovely stuff. Back up to the top of the round. Vane. I, ha I have a question real quick. Yes. Since this was a net 20, that's a critical hit, right? Uh, I believe you've got Savage Attacker yes. on weapons, isn't it? Yeah, then it's on weapons, okay. No, because I use the spell, of course. No, do check, just make sure, because I could be completely wrong. I'm completely no, it's, it, right does <laughs> a, it does say roll of one of the weapons dies one additional time, so... Okay. It's just to be sure. Um, yeah. And now I'm going to ask a question. <laughs> They're blind, so it's in just a natural roll, right? Um, you can't see them, they can't see you, so it's just a straight roll. Okay. I am. Yeah, I think lost. That, that does only work if you generally have an idea of where they are, because yeah. technically... Heavy, I mean, you know what the, the red one is. Yeah, I know where the red one is, and yeah. The and the blue one, one because, yeah. yeah. Okay, that, that was, I mean, it doesn't matter, because, uh, yeah, but... Um, uh, five. Wait, no. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna cast Dissonant Whispers again. Okay. Do you have to be able to see her? Wait. Of your choice within range can hear. Oh. Should well, be alright. Yeah. yeah. It just yeah, nothing about it. Fleet Storm. <laughs> Sing I'm loud enough. Push. There is an orange <laughs> one la, la, now. La. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm I'm going for the orange one. Okay. Um the blue one you mean. Oh. <laughs> the orange blue one. <laughs> uh it rolled a three on its wisdom. I think you're alright. <laughs> Seven points. Uh... I'm just making sure because it's good. I'm pretty sure it's uh, boop, 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 boop. 60 feet. It's 60 feet. 60. Okay, I'm going to do move forward. Five, okay. <laughs> 10. Oh, 10. There we go. And then do it. And same, uh, I'll do the same, uh, the same melody I did for the first one. So I've effectively gone like in painful way for the first one and then up a couple of octaves. And, and played a nice one for Kato, and then back down into <laughs> <Okay>. um, <laughs> for this one. And uh, yeah, against the blue boy, he failed. So, oh. It was seven points of psychic. Yeah, I keep thinking that I have to click for damage. But yeah, so it's it... half, half and half. Three halves. So many halves. Yep. Half for the slow, half for the difficult terrain. Uh, they're no longer prone, I don't believe. Uh, well, we'll see at the start of their turn. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll find out soon. <laughs> but for now, he's not prone. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, Jesus Christ. Right. Uh, yeah. My, half and then that... half, so it's ten, ten foot is what he can travel. Away from you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, One, sorry. Two. Yeah, away from me. There you go. Anything else, Vane? Uh, no, no. Uh, that's two down. Um, two, uh, 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 no. I'm gonna save that now. Nope, oh. that's my that's my turn. Alrighty. So, uh, 
I'm starting to think maybe they were prone the whole time. But anyway, we'll roll it again. Deck save. No, because they were prone and then they stood up on their last yeah. turn and the yeah. effect mm -hmm. only triggers at the start of their turn. So it'll trigger. Grand. Another. Okay. So deck saves now. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two Each twos one. and a 12 uh, with their naturally non-dexterous form and the snow on top. They're all in the in the uh, figures again. So they all fall prone once more. Good. I love it. This is visually in my head fucking hilarious. It's just a bunch of toddlers falling over. <laughs> it's, it's literally a bunch of toddlers on ice. <laughs> <laughs> It's the prone token on this. I can't fucking find it. Oh god! Well, well, it's it's still their turn, so they'll probably stand up again. I yeah. imagine. Uh, we'll see. I I never know what any of these. I wish if when you hovered over it, like it would show you faster. Yeah. It takes yeah. Like, a good second to show up. Uh, roll me another three d eight, please, Rook. Sure, sure, sure. Three d eight. Okay. So the red one. Stands up. Um. Hmm. Okay, so the red one's just kind of been attacked out of nowhere. He hasn't seen Kato come up on him. So, <laughs> yeah, he's gonna uh, just run. So that is five, so that is straight down. Uh, he's going to dash. That is whole ten foot movement he can do. The blue one. <laughs> Is number four, so he moves back in. Oh my god! Oh, like he doesn't move out. And... Is it is it ten foot or five foot for the top one? Because he had to stand up. Oh fuck yeah, it's five. No. Oh my god! I hate this so much. Okay, so it's eighty I, to I dash. I apologize. To half. Oh yes, yes, 40, yes. You're right. And then, dashed. and then to, yeah. So it's ten. Yeah. Okay. You're right. And then the yellow one. That is a seven, and seven. I hate this. <laughs> Move back. So, there's so many fucking numbers going on right now. That's ridiculous. Okay, so I've basically like drawn a compass, and then assigned the numbers one through mm -hmm. eight to like around clockwise, and whatever they rolled, whatever sorry rooks rolled, I'm doing for their movements because they can't see shit. Okay, and they're very confused. <laughs> Um, They're not the only ones. Kato would have taken an attack of opportunity, most definitely on the red guy. Mm -hmm. I don't believe he's got yeah. Sentinel, but he's got Mubile. I don't think there is a pro. Oh, sorry. There must be a pro. Okay. Um, he would have gone with the Crimson Knight, because why not? That is a 20. He could see them, so that should have been an advantage. Oh yeah, use fire. Rub it in. Thanks, guy. Mm. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Nothing happened. It was a 20. <laughs> okay, so that is 9 damage against the red guy. Okay. And that is their turn, so they're going to roll their wisdom saves. Don't know where that went. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I just want to apologize. Like, You're not fucking that. sorry. None of you are fucking sorry. Um, I don't know. It's, it's amazing and, and hilarious, but at the same time, <laughs> fucking hell. Okay, so many different one... like, debuffs to keep a track of. Yeah, the red one saved. Rolled an 18. Oh, no. And with the wisdom, it's only a minus one, so that is a 17. The other two have still failed. Good. I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. Oh, <gasps> Okay. Now it's Kato's turn. Uh, is this okay to walk in, Rook? It won't hurt you. Just keep, keep your. It'll s slow you down a little bit. No, it won't. Careful and, not to slip. Uh, Kato runs forward. He's mobile. Oh. Mobile. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, he does need to make a deck save to see if he falls prone. Okay. Come on, Kato. You're good at this. <laughs> I think he's, he's still inspired, so... Yep. He is still inspired. Yeah, and he's going to use that inspiration. It's a D8, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, he uh, needs yes. to get a 5. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bright side is he can just stand back up. He doesn't need to go far. Yeah, so <laughs> Kato goes, I won't need it, runs forward, and immediately falls flat on his ass, and then just, you know, pushes himself off. 
dusts his bottom off quickly and goes swiping in with his uh, scimitar. Luckily, no one technically. No one saw, saw it. <laughs> no one saw it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, he's going to go with the helmsman's first. Does he have advantage? He does. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just roll again. Yep, that certainly hits. I'll take the first damage. That was an eight against Mr. Blue. Jesus. What? Mr. Oh. Red. Sorry, yes, Red. Advantage. Um, so that was the Helms one. He's going to do the Crimson's Crimson Nags. 16, that hits also. And Six damage. With the off hand. I thought he had offhand written down somewhere, but I don't have it. I wish mm. I could help. Does he not have it in his uh, his like list of attacks? No. Like... He has scimitar offhand, but nothing with the flames like or the. D does he have the um, two weapon fighting that lets him add his? Uh... Oh, he does. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's my bad. Uh, helmsman again. Yeah, he's going sashimi on this <laughs> on this hill giant's ass. He's Ten. preparing Jesus. to harvest it before it's dead. Yeah, so that is 14 plus 10, 24 points of damage just slicing into this hill giant who has no idea what's going on. That's so sad. Okay. Just kind of, yeah, I kind of feel bad at this point. <laughs> Sorry, that is uh, hill giants and Kato's go. Roshana, what would you like to do? Well, there's two people I can see, right, right now. Um, the... I can see Vane and Rook, right? You can see Vane and Rook, yeah. and I will mention that the blue hill giant that you hit is still glowing vibrant orange. Mm -hmm. And you've got advantage on the attack if you want to go for him. Okay, I'll go for the attack. Guiding ball. It's a 24. Very nice, full damage. I'm level 2 again. That's, that's, that's 20. God, I love clerics. <laughs> Explosion! <laughs> yes, advantage. He dims again, and then goes back up into this bright colour orange once more. <laughs> it's like turning a light off for a second, then turning it back on. Can I ask a question, actually? Sure. The, the, the two hill giants are blind, but the... The, well, all of the hill giants are blind, but the guiding bolt makes the one shine. Can they see him shining, or are they just blind blind? Because if that if they can just see him like flashing orange in this sleep filled like mist, <laughs> it's just like what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I'm not sure actually. Hmm. See I think they can probably see him, but I don't think it helps. Oh, sorry. I mean, oh no, it it doesn't help them in any way. I just think it's really funny that they're like. No idea what's going on. They're suddenly like slowed, covered in sleep, be, like being blasted from somewhere, and one of them just starts flashing orange. Maybe it's a case like, of it's like... just it's radiant light, so that only you and your friends can kind of see it. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I, was... I mean, if they could yeah. see it, it's orange, so they might think they, their friends on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, put him out with your big maces. <laughs> Alrighty, anything else, Ashana? Mm, I'll move forward a little bit. Okay. I'll go here. Oh, right. Why oh, you flip the same? Flip what thing? I know. Repeating attack, spell desk link. I did, I know. I know I clicked the thing. Mm. Uh, next up we have Rook. What would you like to do? Hey, Kato, you are right in there. <laughs> yeah. Five. There's a boar on the um, ground. That's nice. Um, let me know if you need me to drop the spell, and I'll uh, stand in front of Vane again and keep the uh, keep the shield up, and uh, just follow suit with Roshana and fire off a similarly colored uh, guiding bolt towards the glowing blue one. The blue one, the orange one, the blue orange one. Yes, go the, for it. The, the blue one that's glowing orange. <laughs> yes, go for um, it. Ba -ba 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 -ba, and advantage. Where is it? Where is it? Getting bold. And hits. Roll damage. 17. Uh, God damn. 
Alrighty, anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no, I what, think. What color is he gonna... coming this time? It's it's uh, gonna keep orange. I don't want them to do anything. Okay, you don't want to confuse oh, them man. in the midst of the place. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Any further than your DR. Just think of the the glowingness from like the the light, and if it was going like orange, blue, green, it would literally be a rave. I mean, you're probably sending signals to aliens right now. It's just the blink, blink, blink. <laughs> This this is we are literally doing close encounters. Okay. Anything else you'd like to do, Rick? No, nope, just living my best life. Lovely stuff. Find me okay. A piano. Up at their found yeah. vein, what would you like to do? Um, I would like to use a free action as Rook goes in front of me with the shield just to ru rustle his hair a little bit. Ah. Thank you. And then I will <laughs> I'm going to... I'm just going to Vicious Mockery this turn. Okay. Um, on... I can't see him. I'm going to do it on the blue one. Or on the one with... Oh, the blue one. Yeah. The orange one. Yep. <laughs> the, mm. the orange. The orange blue one. Okay, let's see. That was a 16, but they've got a minus, so, yep, they failed. Hooray! Four damage. Four damage. And is it with an attack or... Sorry, a spell attack or what that they lose the... Oh, the guiding bolt thing? Yeah, the uh, advantage. I think it's an it's attack just... roll, but I will check. Um, did uh, the next attack roll met against the target okay, before yeah, so, the so... end of your <laughs> next turn? Still, advantage. still glowing blue and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can't take reactions, I believe, isn't it? But what's slow anyway? Uh, I, I think it's disadvantage on their like next attack roll for Vicious Mockery, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, they're sure going to do that. Anything else, Bane? Um... Can't see Kato, can I? Can't see him, no. Okay. Uh, I will give... No, that's that's my turn. Okay. Next up we have the hill giants. Let's see, they stand up or they fall prone. Uh one natural one, a nine, and then a natural twenty. So the uh the red one falls down. Uh oh god, which direction? <laughs> Alright, Kato can see. He can get out of the way. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Where the fuck is the crown thing again? I forget. I'm it doesn't exist. I'm just going to put the one. skull and the crossbones. I, and the blue I one. looked through all of them I, and hovered over them. There isn't one. So dumb. Okay. Yeah, I, I, that baffles me. Cross. And then the yellow one still stays standing. Okay, the red one is just going to lash out at whatever is around it. Because it's getting hurt. It's going to stand up and then just wail on Kato. It's not slowed. Um. It is still blinded. Yeah. Um. Hmm. It's going to squash. Should see if it can squash Kato. Oh. Well, that's not fun. Uh, that is an eight plus an eight. What is Kato's? I say. Uh. Mm -hmm. Hopefully better than 16. <laughs> and it is, yeah. Kato just like steps out of the way as this giant goes, and just Betty flops down onto where the uh, boar was in front of him. Hey, it made itself prone again. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it can't do <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, the blue one is going to stand up. And it's got five movement now, running in another direction. Um, please roll me 2d8. Uh, please, Rook. Thank you. That is a five. He's going to walk five feet down. The yellow one is not prone, but still can see shit. So it's just going to one, two. God. And now the wisdom saves. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to remind you. A natural one and a 12. Yep. You're fine. Okay. Where's the type? Uh, the... There we go. Uh, now it's Kato's turn. 
I'm just gonna fail on this guy in front of him prone. Unfortunately, double advantage isn't a thing, but uh, I need to go for it just anyway. Just natural 20s, that's fine. Only for select elves. Yeah. Uh, no, you're still slowed. Where is that? I'm not gonna have to make my own tokens at this point, I don't know. Uh, Kato, C. With advantage. Helmsman's, Crimson's, and then Helmsman's again. Uh, yes, that is it. Furniture damage. Uh, Crimson's. Oh! Nice! That's what you like. Damn. Doing. That Kato's really in his element in there. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew his element was sleet? And uh, with an additional strike. So, yeah, you can just hear inside. This one's dead. Move on to blue, I guess. That means orange. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> Next up, we yeah, have a shot. Blue icon above their head. Very oh. confusing out here. <laughs> Shana, what would you I, like to I, do? I am. Um, change the, um, the color to blue. I'm once again going to cast Guiding Bolt. Go for it. On blue. Mm -hmm. That's 16. That most certainly hits. And I will now hit it at third level. Oof. 21. That's, uh, 21. 21. You see, he gets blasted back and he is holding on for dear life. <laughs> You're just here. Uh, uh, coming from inside the sleet store. Is there anything else you'd like to do, Rashana? Nope, that's it. Also, he's still orange. He's still orange! Okay. <laughs> Rick! What did you like to do? I gotta take things into my own hands. Uh, Make final... the yellow one red. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. He's been moving this whole time. I don't know where he's so I'm oh, gonna hit no the the orange blue one uh, with a guiding bolt Go for it. Uh, and ruin his entire life with guiding bolts. Yep, my hits. Uh, ba bam. The uh, bolt impacts his stomach, and you just see <coughs> gets thrown backwards. Arms move forward as it just flops down onto the ground, dead. Yeah, he, he turns blue, and then the blue like shows him on the ground, not getting up, and I'm like. Oh, that was pointless. <laughs> it slowly begins to fizzle out. Should have kept him around. Um, <laughs> do we want me to drop the spell now that there's only one left, or...? I can't see shit! He's still slowed, I think. He is, yep. No, I know, it's more of a... I think I can feel whether the spell is still there, but it was... The yeah. strings are tightened, <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I will uh, drop concentration on Sleet Storm. Oh, great. The clouds seem to almost swirl again and just begin to suck up this Sleet Storm energy. The pieces of water that were previously falling down seem to almost be scooped or vacuumed up back into the air and with a twist this little cone that had poured down from above just slips back into place amongst the clouds above you and sleet storm is no more uh, disappear all right anything else Rick? Do, 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 i guess i will move here <laughs> and hold my shield up. smart yeah. Check, oh. mate. I, like, I, bring my I bring my shield up and then like I sort of bring my shillelagh and sort of stab the end into the ground and put the top like between on the shield so that if he throws a rock at me, maybe it'll like the shillelagh will take the force and not me. Okay. Next up we have <laughs> Rock. The fame. Fuck. <laughs> Hello. Back up, back up to the top of the round. What would you like to do? Rock of vein. Fuck. Yeah. Um. Uh, There's gonna be no. a story about that. Not written by me, but sure. sure. Yeah, you've already been writing it since day one. Don't lie. 
Um, like I have time for that. <laughs> true. Uh, I will cast. Hmm. They're very dumb, aren't they? Okay, yeah, fuck it. I will cast Dissin Whispers. Alrighty. Uh, shit. Uh, wisdom. Yeah. Uh, wisdom. Shut up, please. <coughs> God, that is a 10. Mm -hmm. um, so that's 12 damage, um, and it will literally be this sort of like a really piercing. Um, so I, if I like to feel like I've been doing the same kind of um, speed the whole time and just been like occasionally getting like more high pitched and painful when I do the dissonant whispers. And this one's like ultra fucking like squealy that just he can hear. Yeah, just the, if, like uh, you get the VL ball and you put it on the other side of the bridge. You just yeah, 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 really fuck, really going in. Um, uh... All righty, and he's gonna move his movement away from you. Uh, still slowed. But... Yep, twenty feet. Me. Away from you. Okay. Uh, anything else, Vane? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, no? No. No, I was going to do something, but then I'd, I'd need an action for it. So, so no. <laughs> okay. That's the case. It's now the Hill Giant's turn. <laughs> he begins to pick up the rock that is in front of him. Why do I have to make him run towards the rock? It's directly Chucks. away from you. Well, I know. I didn't. I wasn't like complaining about it. I was just complaining okay. at myself. I suppose. Then it's gonna move back twenty feet. Yeah. 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 And it's just gonna lob this rock at Kato. No. Oh, the fifteen. The rock goes like it just bounces off to the side of where Kato was standing, and almost like this rolls on top of the ground towards you, Rook. Can I just can can it like be going perfectly towards Kato, but then Kato kind of like is just slightly behind the belly of the hill giant that's on the floor and it just kind of crests off the belly bounces slightly and just lands oh lands in the middle <laughs> Bonk. <Yeah>. Boing. <laughs> short uh and that's all it can do because it's still fucking slow uh, i roll wisdom save sorry not sorry i know you're not uh that was a seven still short okay it's, it's like my one move thank you we thought thank you <laughs> oh god, Poo Bell's, Poo Bell's arrived. I'm talking, I'm not being a Poo Bell. Uh, yep, and... Like, fucking... Won't click anything. He's gonna... Just jump on top of this log. And start wailing into the yellow belly. <laughs> yeah, yellow belly. No advantage yeah, no. this time because you can see each other. But he does have the minus AC. Yeah, it does. Minus two to its AC. That certainly hits. Six damage. Damn! That certainly hits. God damn. Mm. He's doing it. He's evolving. Kato's <laughs> a monster. <laughs> that is a 12 plus 7 that is a 19 jesus christ no kato astri oh my god and then 11 jesus god that's a lot of damage okay it just begins wailing into him across the belly uh cold icy spice as the uh cold water it's cold salt water i should mention as well <laughs> the flames and more cold salt water splash across this uh giant belly as it's been seared inside i feel like it should get uh, like a sting bonus 
if they're uh, if they've got slashing wounds, like because salt in wound. Probably the least of his worries. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay, next up we have Roshana. What would you like to do? I'll move over here and then I will use my last third level spell slot for guiding bulb. Is it 20? <laughs> <minutes? laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Uh, the 16. 16. Some of this stuff. Boop, 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 boop. And what color does the, this giant now glow? Hello. He'll 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 be red. Red. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Red, yellow, blue, orange. <laughs> Any Green, bonus. red. Any bonus action, Ashana? <laughs> mm, no. Okay. Because the fight wasn't confusing enough. <laughs> Rook, what would you like to do? Hey, hey, hey. Um, Rook oh, is Rook, going I to in you. cast Spike Growth. Okay. Uh, little 20 foot radius. Let me get my 20 foot radius. I'm going to put it here. Already? Uh, uh, yeah, we'll do. We'll do. We'll do there, or yeah, we'll do there. Uh, just in case he tries to run away. Already? Um, where was I? I? Was there? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, and he'll just yell out, uh, okay, no, try not to break anything valuable. Uh, yep. On it. Um, and I guess as a bonus action, I'll just re up my shillelagh. Already? <laughs> Keep it topped up. Yeah. Next up, we have... Top Never catch me slipping. Okay. Top of the round, we have Bane. What would you like to do? Okay, this is the moment, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Hello, Rook. Whatever. I'm gonna pull out, not the Dagger of Venom, but the dagger plus one. Okay. That I have. And I'm gonna launch it. And throw it towards the giant. Think you need to be within twenty feet. Uh bah. Okay. Then I'm not gonna do that. Aha! What you happens if you, that, were you? if you? What happens if you throw it more than twenty feet? Just miss or is it disadvantage? It's disadvantage if you want to throw it over you twenty. Yeah, yeah, I'm still because I'll... of guiding bolt. Oh yeah, that's true. A straight roll if you want to do it. Oh, well, I'm happy to do it with disadvantage just for the fucking lols. But yeah. No, 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 it's a straight uh, roll. Okay, so help. Do I just do the attack roll? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay. God damn it. Still <laughs> I, think, I think I'll pass on the disadvantage. <laughs> oh! Nine piercing. Yeah, that is a dagger. But. Um, and that's. Uh, and you I'll have. Use, can, can, I, can I use my sleep? Yeah, you can. It's a weapon attack, yeah. Yeah. So I'll use, I'll dig in with my psychic blades uh, to do an additional 3d6. I think it's 3d8, isn't it? You're level 5. I might be wrong. It is 3d6. Yeah, it's 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 3d6. Is this bonus benefiting from the crit? Or... It should be, like, yeah. It... So it's 60, whatever the dice is. It's 66. Go for it. Uh, I'm going to need to use the advanced dice roller because there isn't as many. All right, six. Six. D6. Very nice. 23 additional damage. So that's 31. 32 damage. Yeah, you throw the dagger forward and with your mind, it's... An odd sensation vein as you concentrate on the dagger and you concentrate on the very tip of it and you feel within your mind the sensation of just spiraling over and 
over and over and over again before it lands straight into the hill giant's stomach. And I feel slightly fire. nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also, like, badass, but nauseous. And that's my turn. Okay. Next up, we have the hill giant who is in a very sorry state of affairs. Uh, what is he gonna do? <laughs> Move, I dare you. Yeah, he's gonna try and run away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rest in peace. Where? <laughs> Rock, yeah, get ready. <laughs> exactly. That's so sad. Uh... When you stub your toe and you suddenly die. <laughs> okay. So, yep, so one. One. Two. Two. So it's slowed, and this is difficult terrain, yep? Yes. Uh, that's as far as I can move, so 44, please. Uh, well, it only moved uh, 10 feet, didn't it? Yeah. Is it every 5 foot, isn't it, or is it every Yeah, it's, every, it's uh, yeah. 2d4 every 5 feet. Oh, it's 2d4, yes. Yep. Sorry, I have to check. I need to read my own spells. Uh, 2d4 again. Uh, so, 12 total. What do the vines do to bring this giant down? <laughs> Um, I, I I think um, they they gradually poke like sharpen and poke into his feet, forcing him to instinctively take like uh, like larger strides. And as he takes one final big step, a just really impressively sharp vine comes up right underneath his foot, oh. and he just steps into it and brings his whole foot to the ground as his weight topples over. Oh, it's just splash onto the ground in front of him. Ouch. Dead. And then I'll, drop, then I'll drop concentration on the, the spell. Okay. Did you see? I hit. The, I threw the thing. I did the. I threw and uh, I threw. Yeah. It, it, and he, and he, he was frightened of you and ran and died. That was very impressive. Man. <laughs> that was really good. But, you did a good job, Vane. I think it goes without saying, but I think we're really coming along as a team. I think that worked out surprisingly well. Is everyone okay? Kato, did you get hurt? Uh, no, not at all. Anyone else? Oh, I checked fine. if Vane is breathing. You put... <laughs> Vane, Vane checks his own on... pulse. <laughs> Stop your hands on his chest. He's breathing. Yep. Hmm. Huh. Imagine that. That was... And I, like, touch wood, relatively flawless. I, I shake Rook's hand, and I shake Roshana's hand, and I walk over to Kato and shake Kato's hand. Very he, good he, job, he very good. pulls you over, Vane, and he goes, come on, we have to harvest quick. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I find my dagger and take my top off. Shall we, let's, let's get these toes. Not specifically uh... in that order. <laughs> okay. I'll take the top off, and then I'll... <laughs> okay. I can take a quick break here, guys. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Quarter past the hour. Uh, we'll come back. Yeah, but very, very well done. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I like that was fucking badass. However, I am really sorry. <laughs> My brain is like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was trying to keep track of things. I was like, I have absolutely like. I need to get, so at like, one point, I was just like, I'm lost. I need to get like another table or something like a pop up with just like all the debuffs, so I know. Like immediately, what I'm looking at, and the half, and the half, yeah. and the half, and then yeah. of that of like speed, and then it was like okay, but if they're dashing, it's another, it's it's doubled back up again, so it's whew. yeah, it, it's doubled well, back yeah. up again, but not including the half standing up. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> it's like because you get halved like of anything when you oh my god when you go from prone to standing. So it was like, and then yeah, they were like dropping down. And then getting back up. <laughs> yeah. Like... 